Okay. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hello. Good. Fine. And you? Fine. And you? I'm here trying to solve uh, internet issues and stuff. Okay, but ready. Okay. How, are you? How are you today? Great. Yeah. Great. Okay. Ready. Yeah. Okay. That's good. So we have here. Uh, let me see. We have Diego Sosa, right? Yes. Ricardo. We have uh, Nelson. Veronica. And well, somebody's connecting. Me need, me need, right? And then we have Andrea, Burr, Carlos, Aldez, Javier, Ana, okay, Ada Hernandez. Hello. Hello, good. Welcome, Ligia Rodriguez. Jose, Thank you. Jose Luis Rivera, okay, good. Now we have Alexis too and William. All right, people, okay. So this is, uh, we're going to start today. What level? See if you remember. Uh, intermediate. intermediate. Intermediate what? One. 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 Okay, very good. Okay, how do you feel so far? Um, is anybody new in this program? Uh, somebody who, uh, who's the first time who is at uh, Inglés Corporativo or taking English uh, classes online or were you all together in the previous groups? Hello. Yes, uh, Ricardo. Uh -huh. Ricardo Pacheco. Um, uh, this is my first, uh, my first time. Okay, you, uh, uh, studying online, English online. Right. Okay, good. All right, great. Anybody else? Uh, Diego, no. No, first. No, first. Yeah, no it's the second le uh, level. Okay, good. And you first? Is the first time online is, is my first time okay. i have studied but presential okay before. and where did you study before Per? i studied at prolingua okay very good that's nearby the national university right yeah okay good and you ricardo where did you study in two for um and it was um um course uh, okay good all right good yeah that's, those are good you know if you if you really like english they work okay they really work okay anybody else who would like to make a comment hello yes okay Lydia. yes Lydia. hello it's my first time receiving oh. class online okay you're the first and where did you study english before Lydia? i was studying in academia europea Ah, okay, good. All right. Perfect. Excellent. Then different methodologies. But no, the methodology, I, I guess, is there. Are, some of them are good, some of them are better. So it depends on the interest okay, that we have uh, on learning, uh, in learning this, uh, this language. Okay, yes. well, as I told you, my, my name is Luis Arellan. I sent in the WhatsApp. We have this WhatsApp group. Uh, anytime you have a, a doubts or questions, you know, you know, we can always use the, you know, the, the WhatsApp to communicate, right? Um, I try to teach all my, uh, the classes in English, I don't know, as much as I can. Okay, the, I try not to use Spanish at all, because I think that it's important that you are exposed, you know, to, to listen in the language, right? And try to, to use it, use it, right? So don't, don't worry if you, if there is a moment that you don't find words to say something, right? Try to say it in English, you know, because I always do my uh, my best to to understand what you want to express. And let me tell you that uh, I was teaching before the pre-intermediate, intermediate, and I haven't had any problem, you know, communicating with the students. I mean, I understand perfectly. I think that you can do it pretty well, right? So don't worry, don't feel um alexera afraid of speaking just let it go right the only way we can learn more english is practice it right and that's why we are okay. here for. okay so don't worry about uh the making mistakes or because uh, the, the teacher is going to punish me he's going to kick me out of the group no no, no. I, I will never do that okay I, i'm here to help you so don't worry about those issues just feel free confident okay and whenever you have questions, interrupt the class and ask me, okay? You can ask, okay? Whenever you have a doubt, you can say, hey, teacher, 
what about this? Can you explain a little bit more about this? Well, some of you already know the platform. You know that the platform is very simple. It's not really complicated, but, okay, but you have to, uh, let's say, uh, complete all the exercises, you know, uh, like every week, so that, you know, like, like in the last week, we have to complete at least the 90% of the platform, okay? And you know you need an eighty percent. Okay, that means more more or less like an eight. You know, okay. past the level, right? So then uh, I will help you to get that objective. Okay, no problem. But um, but you know, but I want you to to work you know every day on the platform so that you can complete the exercises. And when you have a doubt, well, you let me know in the next class. Okay, questions so far. Expectations. Okay. Yes. Huh? Yes, sir. My expectations about the course. Mm -hmm. Maybe first uh, continue to learn about about this language because I I studied English before, but I think I can improve my my English level and and I can use this language to. Improve my position in my work in my work okay perfect okay. that's good mm -hmm. okay uh, remember that you know as we have to follow uh, there is already a program that we have right uh, there might there might be you know some some things that you already know but probably you know we need to to probably to reinforce or practice right sometimes you will feel that some topics are very easy but remember that it's not only to it's not only the comprehension, right? It's not only that you ah yes I understand this. The idea is not not only to understand, right? It's also to use it. Okay. So the important thing here is how to use the different structures that we learn every day, but use them properly, right? Right. You know what, what do you know about the past tense? Ah yeah, the past tense is you know what what I did yesterday, was and where. But when we are speaking, we say, oh, yes, uh, uh, she were there. Or we say, they, they was there, right? So we confuse, we mixed up those terms. But that, and that is not because you don't know. It's, you know, that is lack of practice, falta de practice, right? So then, you know, the more we practice, because remember that we have to get used to, right, the use of those, uh, let's say, those verbs, especially in past tense. Remember that in, in Spanish, uh, when we have, when we talk, I'm talking about tenses because that's going to be the, the first topic that we have today. In Spanish, how many verbs or how many forms does a verb have in present? That's like six forms, right? Yeah. Yo como, tu comes, el come, right? You change it. But in English, it has how many forms? Two forms. Two forms only. Okay. That's why in English we need to use this, the, the pronoun, right? We say, I eat, okay? But in Spanish, it's not necessary to say, yo como, right? Because when you say como, it's, you know, in, in the context, you know that you're talking about you, right? The first person, okay? So that's why, you know, sometimes eat, he, she, it, we use eats, right? And then we know that, that we're talking about he, she, or it. But in Spanish, we use other forms. The past tense in English is easier, but also, you know, it's only one verb, one form, one word. What is the past tense of it? Eight. Eight, eight right? Uh, eight. Uh -huh. uh, the past tense of, uh, let's say, uh, speak, spoke, right? Spoke. And then when you say, I spoke, you spoke, he is spoke, she is spoke, spoke. we is spoke, they is spoke. So you see, we use the same verb, but we have to use the the pronoun to know that we are talking about uh, the the subject that we are talking about, right? Okay. So if you have no questions, uh, we have a lot of things to do in this uh, four weeks, right? So remember that these yes, are teacher, four weeks. I um, have one question. Uh -huh. Oh, Veronica, here. Yes, Veronica. Yes, uh, only to confirm, what, what is this course? 
is I am confused. Mm -hmm. With what? With the level of the course because I am in two chat. Oh, yes, me too. Good. I am in two chat too. Okay, this is, well, I don't know exactly, right? In, but the, the, the level is intermediate one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know, what is your chat you are in, Veronica? Uh, with the teacher Sylvia, I, I think I have to stay in the advanced ones. Okay, yes, then, yes, if you use advanced, then uh, you have to see, for example, the, the, the link they sent you to join the, the class. It has to be a different one, right? Because Sorry, this is teacher. Okay. Uh -huh. Teacher, I have uh, the same problem. No, it's not a problem, but uh -huh. uh, I, I am in two groups of WhatsApp, but uh, I don't know if the, the same group. Okay, but you have to be, uh, if you see, let me see. For example, the the the, the 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 platform sent me the uh, email uh, with this code, the the this this ID. Uh -huh. But uh, but in the WhatsApp okay. group, uh, it has to say I one. Well, mm -hmm. I will say in Spanish. E e e e mayúscula uno guión cero dos. Mm -hmm. 8 pm and that's internet yes. one right mm -hmm. yes okay and if you have that link then uh, let me see uh, let me check could you then, uh, yes yes and then you have to and then you need to have the if you have advanced it should be another link but I have in no. the link but I have two groups with the same name. E, E1. No, it's uh, not the same name. Okay. Oh, sorry. Teacher. Yes. Uh, the problem is that the the mm, level the after the this level mm -hmm. uh, when took to when teach that touch that Carlos Alvarado mm -hmm. is the same group with the change uh, the the solution of that is uh leave to the that groups in union with the new, new group. Uh -huh. the new group yes uh -huh. that's right when the in last the english corporativo sent to us mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, that, uh, the, the, what Anna says is exactly what they were, they tell us, right? For example, if I have to, if I am in the WhatsApp group, then you have to get out of the uh, last group you had, and okay. then join the new group with the link that English Comparative will send you, right? And then you okay. will be in the other group. But you have to uh, to abandon. You have to leave. Okay. Okay. So the previous Interview group, one. Yes, I'm uh -huh, sure. that, that that you had. And then get a uh, join the new group that you have now that they send you with the new links. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. All right. So then uh, let's get started then. We have. Okay. Well, right now I'm sharing my screen. Are you able to see it? Yes. Can you see it? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Yes. Yes. Let me have the share the sound because after this we're going to also watch a video. Okay. Okay. So let's get it started then. All right. Fur, can you do me a favor, please? Would you uh, would you read? the lesson objective that we have. Whom? By the end. Me? Yes, yes, please, sir. Okay. 
by the end of this class, you will be able to talk about your past using was, were, and very regular and irregular verbs. Example, I was born in Korea. I grew up in the United States. I moved here 10 years ago. I didn't speak English. Additionally, you'll be able to ask and answer questions in the past tense. This conversational English lesson will help you discuss your background in greater detail and get to know people. Okay, so if you see this is what, you know, what we were talking about, right? Uh, about using the, the past tense of the verbs, okay? But we're going to see also the part that uh, has the verb to be, was and were, and then we will also see the other verbs, right? So we'll see, for example, uh, a regular and irregular verbs in past tense, right? Remember that regular verbs have ed forms at the end, right? And the irregular the verbs, they change the writing, the pronunciation, and there are some, uh, let's say, uh, some, uh, there are no rules. That's why they call them, you know, irregular, right? But I will, I will share with you, you know, some information and a list later, you know, that, that we can use for your purpose, okay? okay? But any questions so far? No? No. no. Okay. Let's see then the video. Okay, that we have. Please uh, uh, listen to it. Let me know if the sound is okay. And also, uh, if you see new words or if you have questions, then write them down. Put them down in a notebook or in your computer. Just in case at the, uh, you have a question, at the end you can, you know, I can, I can help you out, you know, to solve out your doubts. So here we go. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to talk about the past using regular and irregular verbs. Additionally, you'll be able to ask and answer questions in the past. For example, you'll be able to make the following expressions. I was born in Korea. I grew up in the United States. I moved here 10 years ago. I didn't speak English back then. Let me get started by presenting the structure. In our previous class, we discussed how to make positive and negative statements using the verb to be in the past. So we talked about the left side of this chart, as you can see there. And we also talked about making yes and no questions in the past. In today's lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to try to make sense of this whole thing together. And we're going to try to use both ways of talking about the past with the verb to be and with other verbs such as move. And so we're going to focus on creating statements, either positive or negative, as you can see there. Uh, that's the one that I had given earlier. I moved here 10 years ago. And we're also going to talk about making negative statements in the past, such as I didn't speak English then. Finally, what we're going to do is we're going to make questions in the past. And the whole goal here is to be able to use both ways of talking about the past, either with the verb to be, as you can see, is slightly different, and also using the auxiliary did. Let me get started by making sense of the statements that we see towards the right side of this chart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down the formula real fast. In order for us to make sentences in the past, particularly positive sentences in the past, we're going to have a subject. And then that is going to be followed by a verb, the verb in its past form. And then that is going to be followed by a complement. So if I write down the example that we see on the very top, um, which says, I moved here 10 years ago. Well, we can clearly see the subject is I. I'm going to go ahead and try to color that in green. Then we can see that the verb is moved. Notice that I had to change that to the past. For most verbs, we will simply add ed. That's what we call regular verbs. And for irregular verbs, um, then for those, you simply have to remember what they are. So for example, we have the verb teach, and then the past of that verb is taught. 
but I'll be talking about regular and irregular verbs in a different class. I also want to write down another quick example here. So I'm going to say I took English classes for a year. And then once again, what I want you to notice is what happens at the bottom. I want you to notice that we have a subject and I color that in green. And then we have some sort of verb and then that is going to be colored in red. And then the complement, um, as you can see, English classes for a year. Let me talk about making negative statements in the past now. I'm going to go ahead and write down the formula. The only difference that you're going to see from a positive statement to a negative statement is that we're going to have an auxiliary. That auxiliary is didn't. Um, so, um, so I and then this follows didn't. Okay. And then this follows the verb and then whatever complement. I didn't speak English and I'm going to say 10 years ago. So we have a subject. I'm going to go ahead and play with the colors for a little bit. This follows didn't. And then it's going to follow the verb. Now important here, I want you to notice that in this case, this verb does not change to the past. Okay, so the verb and the negative statements will remain in the present tense. It will not change to the past. That's very important. And that's because this auxiliary verb causes this verb to not change to the past. I didn't speak English 10 years ago. The last thing that I want to talk about in this class is how to form questions in the past. And particularly, we're going to focus on forming questions using did. Let's try to make sense of that first question that you see there. When did you move to Los Angeles? Well, first of all, in order to form questions, sometimes we're going to have WH questions and sometimes we're going to have yes and no questions. And I'll explain the quick difference in a second. Whenever we have a WH question, I'm going to start with that first one there. What we do is we have a WH word, such as in this case is when. This follows the auxiliary did. This will follow a subject. And this follows the verb in the present. The verb does not change to the past. When did you move to Los Angeles? So again, very important. We're going to have some sort of WH word that follows auxiliary did. And then it's going to follow the subject. After that, you'll see the verb in its present form. It does not change to the past. And finally, we'll include some sort of complement. And we follow the same pattern in the second question that you see there. With the only difference now is that we don't have a WH verb, and that's because this is a yes or no question. Yes or no question starts with did you and the verb in its present form take the complement is English classes in Argentina. There you go. Okay. It all depends on what kind of question you have. So WH words, we mentioned that we want to elicit information from the person. In a yes or no question, we simply want to receive a response such as uh, yes or no. So the example on how to answer a yes or no question, then you'll see it there. Yes, I did or no, I didn't. That's how you create a short response for that kind of question. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to answer some questions, which I will post in one moment. But before that, what I would like for you to understand is that we can form the past tense by either using was or where, or by using other verbs that are not the verb to be. So whenever you are going to use another verb that is not the verb to be, then we're going to think about the structure towards the right. It's important not to get confused. And so therefore, I would like for you to answer the following questions. As you can see, sometimes I will use did, and sometimes I will use the verb to be. And the reason that I use did in my questions is because I'm using another verb that is not the verb to be. So that's what I want you to notice.
All right. Okay, guys. Any questions? No. Okay. No. No? Clear? Yes. 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 Okay. Uh, the 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 use for the did word is when uh, the you will be uh, use the verb uh, to be. Or oh, I, I am wrong. Yeah. Okay. When you use the verb to be, what is the past tense of the verb to be? Was. Was and were. Was or were, were. Right. Okay. okay. So then uh, let's see that we're going to uh, think about this. So that was and were is separate from the other verb. Right? Yes. And then when we use was and were, you're going, we're not going to use any auxiliary verb. Okay? okay. For example, if you say I was, a, for example, I was in my house this afternoon. Affirmative. Mm -hmm. Okay? In negative, I wasn't in my house mm -hmm. this afternoon. Okay? Not this. And in a question, if you want to make a question, you will say, were you in your house this afternoon? Okay, were you? That's the question. So that's the verb to be. Okay, for example, okay. were you at home this morning? Yes, I am in my house. Yes, I, yes, yes, I, I was. were. Yes, I was. I was. I was. Okay, you see, this is the combination, right? For example, okay. listen, listen to this. Nelson, were you in your house this morning? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Okay, yes, I was yes, is I the was. short answer. Long answer? Oh, okay. yes, Long answer, yes, I was in my house this morning. Okay, so okay. long answer and short answer. Okay, now okay. listen to this. Now everybody knows Nelson's answer, right? So we can say, was Nelson in his house this morning? Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. He was. Okay. He was. See, you have to uh, you have to remember the the subject that we use with each pronoun. I mean, the, the sorry, the, the the verb that we use with each pronoun, right? If I say I was, if you say he was, okay. Now let me see a. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Ada. Are you there? Yes. Okay, good. Ada, uh, were, were you at home last night? Yes, yes, I was. Yes, I was. Okay. So, now listen to this question. Were Nelson and Ada at home? What is the answer? Yes, they yes. were. They were. They, yes, were. they, they were. were. Okay. Now, were Nelson and Ada at work? No. No. No, they weren't. No, they weren't. Okay, you got it. Okay. Yeah. So you say was, were. This is completely different from the verb, uh, from the other verbs. Okay. Yeah. You see, in this okay. exercise, we haven't used. Did. Okay, then, uh, for example, another another one is, this is when you are in a place and how you feel. Uh, for, for example, I can say, uh, let me see, uh, Marvin, Marvin, were you, were you angry? Were you angry this afternoon? Hello. Uh, you have to turn yes, on. Please, the... Yes, have somebody has the microphone on. Can you please turn turn it off? Mute your microphone so that we don't get the the background noise. Okay. All right, Marvin. Uh, can you hear me? No. no. Okay, Carlos Aviles. Uh, no. No. Okay. Carlos Ramos. Yeah. Okay, good, Carlos. Now, were you in yeah. this afternoon? No, he was. No, uh, I was. 
no, I wasn't, okay? So if you see, Carlos was not angry this afternoon. Now, what is the question, uh, Jennifer, about Carlos? Was Carlos at home? No, uh, angry. 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 Uh, was Carlos no. angry? This afternoon, okay. Okay, was Carlos angry this afternoon? The answer will be? He wasn't. No, he wasn't. No, okay. he wasn't. He no, wasn't. He wasn't. Okay, so here you can see how I can ask a question directly to you. Were you? Okay? And when we are talking about another person, we say, was he? Was Carlos angry? Was he angry? Okay, for example, uh, we can say, was Jennifer, uh, Jennifer were you, um, let's say, were you, were you tired last night? No, I wasn't. Okay, question about Jennifer. Was Jennifer tired last night? No, she wasn't. No, she wasn't, okay? So you see, this is talking about other people in singular. How uh, was he, was Carlos angry? Was Jennifer tired? Were Nelson and who was the other one? And Ada at home? Okay, no, they weren't. Okay, and you can see there okay. affirmative answers, affirmative sentences, and negative sentences, right? And affirmative, no, I want, uh, hey, let me see, one volunteer. So, two volunteers. Two volunteers. First mm -hmm. hand up. Okay, then I have her and I have Jennifer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tell me a sentence affirmative of yourselves, about you. In past tense. In past tense, correct. I studied English. No, but using was, using was. I only was. Yes. I was sleeping. I was? Sleeping, I was sleeping. Yes. I was sleeping. Okay, that's that's for mm -hmm. uh, Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, somebody has the uh, microphone open. Can you please mute your microphone so that you don't interfere the others? Thank you. Okay, fair. Continue. Mm -hmm. I was sleeping uh -huh. yesterday at night. Okay, listen. So what Fur is using is a, another tense, right? Which is the past progressive. It's not simple past, but it's correct. Okay. I was sleeping, okay? I was, uh, mm -hmm. Okay, I was yeah, sleeping. Yeah, I mm -hmm. No problem, okay? Jennifer? I was reading this morning. I was reading this morning, okay. Now, one, uh, for example, uh, Nelson, can you repeat Jennifer's sentence in negative form? Yes, she wasn't. Sleeping today. Well, that, that, that was her, but it's okay. Reading. <laughs> reading. Okay. Reading. 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 Uh, was mm -hmm. reading. No, but I mean, that was her. Sorry. That's what first said, right? Okay. okay. So he was. Uh, he was. He wasn't sleeping right today, and uh, we can say that Jennifer wasn't reading today. Okay, no problem. Right. Good. Then uh, another one. Uh, now let me see, Jose Luis. Can you tell me? Fernando, Fernando, right? Her uh, first uh, sentence in negative. He wasn't. Uh huh. He wasn't uh, listening. Sleeping. Sleeping, right? He said sleeping. Sleeping. So oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. But no, you were not listening, Diego. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> huh? Okay. You weren't listening. Okay. No, it's okay. Good. You you see, but, but we can practice. But this is, for example, a good way <laughs> to put English into practice in real, in real, in real uh, form, right? In real time. Uh -huh, yes. You say, no, Diego, you were not listening. You weren't listening. <laughs> and then, and you can say, can you say that sentence in negative about you? I? I wasn't listening. Okay, correct. Okay, probably it's not true. Okay, it's only a joke. No problem. Yet. Thank you. You gave me two examples. Very good. All right. So you see, this is the way that you practice the, the language, right? In the moment. Okay. So this is the idea of this, uh, the language. Not only the platform. Okay. How we can practice it in the real life. Okay. Very good. Now, 
now with the questions with did, remember that when we use did, we say, for example, that is a different story. Did you, for example, uh, did you sleep? Did you sleep 10 hours uh, last night? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay. Now, this is the other thing, right? Now, we are not using to be. Was and where? Out. Okay, now mm -hmm. is with all the other actions. Okay, now here we can use any action in past tense. Okay, now quickly everyone is going to think about one sentence of something that you did today. But you have to, be, you have to pay attention to the others, okay? You don't have to repeat the same verb that the others are using, okay? For example, if I say, uh, let's see, I, only affirmative. Only affirmative sentences, okay? I ate, let's say I ate a chocolate today. My verb is eat in past tense, ate. Okay, I ate chocolate today. Nobody can repeat eat. You can use other verbs, but not ate, okay? In Good. my case, uh -huh. Angie? in my case, I practiced English alone. I practiced English alone. Very good. Now, next. Okay. I, I studied the Constitution today. Wow, this man is a lawyer. I have a problem here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I studied, I studied the Constitution today. Very good. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, somebody else? I cooked okay. today. Okay, good, Anna. I cooked today. Excellent. I what made cookies now. I made? I made cookies today. I made cookies today. Ah, okay, that's good. Okay, you're baking. You're baking too. Okay, you can also say I made cookies today. I, I, I drink uh, or chat today. Okay, the past tense of uh, drink? Don't. I drank. I drank. I drank or chat drank. today. Uh, good. Delicious. Yes, Ada? Mm. I learned English today. I learned English today, right? Today. I learned I learned a new word today. Yes, Elena. I spoke with my friends today. I spoke with my friends today. I spoke with my friends today. Very good, excellent. Well. I was at a webinar in the morning. Yes, Veronica, repeat. I was in a oh. webinar. Okay, Gladys, yes. I was in a wedding this morning. Really? Wow. Okay. I I sound in the morning. Who? I I sound in the morning. I thought. I thought in the morning. Thought in a class? You, are you a teacher? Yes. Okay, so I thought in the morning. Okay, very good. Okay, one more, one more. I Next. read my favorite book. I read? I read my favorite book. I read my favorite book. Very good. I read my favorite book. Excellent. What else? You see, you haven't repeated mm -hmm. a verb. That's nice. Yes, Nelson? Ricardo? Mimi there? Mm -hmm. I watch mm -hmm. I watch Netflix on the morning. Oh really? Oh I watch Netflix all day. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> okay. But in English, Mimi, okay? But in English. Okay. Yes. Okay. Good. You have permission to watch Netflix, but in English. Okay, not in Spanish. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Anybody else? Can I read a book today. Uh, I read. No, Nelson. I'm sorry. Okay. They just read. You have to use real. another word. Okay. Real. I prepared. It. Uh -huh. I prepared uh, dinner today. I prepared dinner. I prepared. Today. Yes. Yeah. Yes. A month early. You haven't said a word. Per, yeah. Ricardo, yes, I have her. Uh, I sang about 10 songs today. I sang, oh, really? Is, it, is yeah. that true? No, I don't have a group, but <laughs> sometimes when I'm taking a shower or sometimes when I'm in my room, I, I, I you use. Sing. You sing. I like, to, I like to sing songs. You sing songs, okay? You and today you sang, you sang 10 songs. Okay, that's good. All right, uh -huh, Ricardo. 
I did watch the TV in the morning. No, because Nineveh watched watch, Nineveh watched uh, <laughs> uh, Netflix. So you have to use another verb. Think about another verb. Jumped. I thought. Uh huh. I thought. I, I thought mad um, to my sister. I thought in my sister, right? Or I thought about my sister. That's good, Laura. Mm -hmm. I played with my children. Exactly. Very good, Teacher. Ricardo. That's correct. I played with my children. Uh huh. I yes. took a learn another learning from my from my job. I took another learning from my job. Another, another, another. I don't get the the, the other word. I, I took another uh, training. Training. I, I took a training. Okay. I took the training. 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 Mm -hmm. job. Yes, that's good. In my job. All right. You see, we have practiced um, fifteen verbs now. Okay. Go ahead. Yes, go ahead. One more. Uh, I touch guitar today. I My play. My favorite. I play. No, I, I touch. Not the guitar. I play the guitar. Oh, okay. Or, so, or only touch. Uh, <laughs> touch, no sound. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay, and play is when you throw, no, 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 yeah. You made the music, right? But listen, oh, uh, for okay. example, Ricardo say, said, he said, I play with my children. And Carlos said, I play the guitar. It's similar, but different meaning, correct? Right. All right. Yes, because you don't play with the guitar. You play the guitar. And you don't play okay. the children. You play with the children, right? Okay? So it's, <laughs> See, so it's, uh, it's similar, but it's different. So these are the things, you know, that we need to, to differentiate, right, in English, right? With the, with the Very good. What else? Hey, Jose Luis Rivera has, okay, Jose Luis. Yes, uh, I went shopping in the morning. I went shopping in the morning. Very good example, right? I went shopping in the morning. Good. All right. Who else? I love to ride. I love to ride my bike. I love in the past tense, right? I, I love. love to ride. Yes, I love, love to ride my bike. Okay, guys. Very good. Okay, you see, this is the idea how to make a sentence and remember. Now, you can add more, uh, let's say, to be, this is very, the sentences that we are doing in this moment are very general, right? But we can be more yeah. specific, right? For example, uh, Laura says, I love to ride my bike, okay? You can say, I love to ride my bike when I was in high school. Style. I'll, no, but it's okay. I mean, this is because the first thing, the first instruction was only to say sentence. But you can say, for example, I play with my children uh, uh, last week, every day last week. Okay, I played with my children uh, on Saturday morning or last Saturday morning. So more specific, I played soccer with my children last, uh, last Saturday morning. See how you can use time expressions and other words, you know, to be more specific, okay? Good. Okay. Fine. Excellent. And then the other one that we have is the negative form that we're going to use. I did. Okay. Okay. Now think about, I think that you are very, everybody is very young in this class, but, but anyway, okay, think about your high school. Everybody uh, finish high school here. Yes. 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 Okay. Good. Yes. Now, think about something yes. you didn't do in high school. Okay, something that you didn't do in high school. Okay, for example, I didn't. I didn't do my homework. I was going to say that. <laughs> okay. Yes, that's one. Okay, that's very frequent. Okay, I didn't do my homework. Another one. I didn't play uh, uh -huh. basketball. I didn't play basketball. Yes, Jennifer? I didn't play soccer. I didn't play soccer. Good. Jose Luis. I didn't do I didn't do exercise. I didn't do exercise. And now? When I was <laughs> <a> study, <laughs> high Sometimes. school. Okay, uh, Laura and then Jose Luis. Okay, Laura. Yeah. Yes, when Laura. I was a study yes, when I was a study in I the high school, I cook ice cream. I made. I made. Make. Uh, made. Made ice cream. Made. Made. I uh -huh. made uh, ice cream. 
Okay, and something that you didn't do, Laura? Um, no, I didn't. Uh -huh. Right good. now, I don't make ice cream. Oh, in your case, it's the opposite. Okay, in, 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 your, in your case, it's the opposite. Okay, Jose Luis. I didn't put the garbage on the garbage can. <laughs> okay, <laughs> no, very, very honest. Okay, I like that honesty. Okay, very good. Excellent. Uh, I, uh -huh. I, I didn't smoke. smoke. I didn't smoke. Okay, I didn't smoke. <laughs> good. <laughs> and now you do. Handcraft. Okay. Uh -huh, I something? didn't. I didn't make handcraft. I didn't. Okay, I didn't make any handcraft. Make any handcraft. Handcraft. Okay. Handicraft for you, nothing. Okay. You say two birds in pass. Yes. Uh, you say I didn't. I didn't make handcraft. Okay, Ricardo. Uh -huh. I didn't learn English. I didn't learn English. Okay, <laughs> that's why you're. That's why I'm here. Is <laughs> okay. Right. But I did. I did learn. When I studied at high school, I ha I didn't have any problem have... with someone. Okay, I didn't have any problem with anybody. Oh, anybody. Okay. With anybody. Thanks. Good. Mm -hmm. Yes. I didn't stop in class. Exercise? Repeat, uh, Aide. I didn't go to exercise. I didn't go to exercise. Uh -huh. I didn't do exercise and I didn't go. Okay, you didn't go to the place where they exercise. Okay, good. Uh huh. Uh, Ada? I, I didn't learn math. I didn't learn math. Math. Okay. <laughs> yes, well, it's true. <laughs> Many people didn't, don't worry, okay? <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Her? Uh, I didn't. I, oh, sorry. No, I, I say I didn't do my homework. Oh, yeah, you didn't do the homework. Yes, you said it. Veronica? I didn't. I didn't have a party graduation. You didn't have a, a graduation party? That's so sad. Sick. That's so sad. That's too bad. Okay. <laughs> okay. When, when, we finish, when we finish this course in the quarantine, then we make a party, right? Yeah. <laughs> we celebrate. Yeah. Okay, Gladys? I, I didn't run. I didn't run. Okay, I didn't run. Okay, good. Okay, anybody else? Uh, I didn't play a musical instrument when you were a, a, a okay. kid, sir. When I was a kid, right? I didn't play any musical instrument when I was a kid. Okay, very yeah. good. Right. Now, uh, one more exercise quickly, and then uh, with the questions, okay? Uh, let's see. Anna. Anna Molina, okay. right? Uh, choose a victim, okay, from this group. Okay, pick a victim and ask <laughs> a question, okay? Ask a question. Did you? Okay, Nineveh. Okay, did you? Did you? Anything? Okay. Uh, when you study in a high school, uh, you didn't uh, do exercise. Did you do exercise? Question. Did you do exercise? Did you did you do exercise when I was a uh, uh, study in a in a high school? Yes, I did. I. I I like uh, swimming. swimming. I like swimming. Okay. Yes, I did. I like swimming. Okay. Very good. Okay. Now, Carlos, let's choose a victim. Uh, 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 so close your eyes and point there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, Diego. Diego, okay, okay. Diego, Diego, where is Diego? Okay, Diego. Yes. Okay. Uh, did, did you, you did you play a soccer in high school? Okay. Yes, I played soccer in high school. 
Okay. Very good. With the Next. team of the school. Yes, you know, with the school team, right? With the school team. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Jennifer, choose a victim. Pick your victim. Elena. Elena, Elena, Elena. Did oh, you yes. study hard in high school? Did you? Yes, I did. you study hard? Yes, I did. Yes, you did. Okay. Fine. Okay, thank you. Now for her, choose a victim. Choose a victim. Laura. Okay, Laura. Okay, go ahead. Ask her a question. Laura is ready. Did you have good qualifications? Good grades. Good grades. Mm. Grades? Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Yes, I had good qualifications. Grades. Good grades. Uh -huh. grades. Good grades. Good grades. Yes. Perfect. Okay, good. Now, uh, Ada? Mm. Good turn. Pick One somebody. moment. Uh, Who? Ricardo. Yes, yeah, Ricardo, okay. Did you... Did you learn um, some music? Some... No. Did you... Did you play the guitar in the school? No, I didn't. No, I okay. didn't. Okay. Very good. Nelson, question. Uh, Alexis Fuentes. Okay. Did you play video games in the high school? Yes, I did it. Yes, you did. Okay, good. Nintendo. No, no, you were PlayStation, maybe, right? <laughs> no, <okay. laughs> Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Okay. Good. Uh, I, I did. Ask a question. Um, um, Ligia Rodriguez. Ligia, okay. Did you read uh, a book? Yes, I did. I read uh, The Little Princess. The Little Prince, sorry. <laughs> I read. Uh, the little I read, I read, sorry. Yes. Okay, very good. And who else missing? Who's missing? Ah, Jose Luis. Jose Luis, ask a question. Jose Luis is not here. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Javier? Javier? I think so. Yes, he's there. Okay. Uh, did, you, did, you did you spend time with your classmates? Yes, I used to spend time with uh, Okay, I used to spend yeah. time with my classmates. Okay, good. And Gladys, the last question. Um, uh, Lucia. Okay. Uh, did you swing in the high school? Um, no, I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. Okay, good. That's too bad. Okay, that's too bad. All right. No, it's okay. All right, people. Then, uh, this is the video that we have. Let me see. Well, this is not the last time that we're going to... And then this follows the verb, and then whatever complement. Sometimes I will use did. And sometimes I will use the verb to be. Okay, you can see the you can see the video, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, but now we're going to Just let me. Okay. So we have the next one. Okay, we have the knowledge check completed, please, and then tomorrow we check it together. Okay. For you to see uh, if you have, this is you know, like a kind of homework that you, where you can practice. Choose the best response to this question. Did she play soccer in high school? See? And I said, no, she didn't. Then see, for example, from these three options, 
which is the best option that you have to complete this one, right? Be careful with uh, commas, periods. Remember that this platform is very sensitive in that case, okay? It does. Okay. And then we have the next one. Okay. Uh, Aide, can you please read this objective here? Hello. No? By the end of the class, you will be able to make positive and negative statements in the past tense using the verb to be. Additional, you will be able to talk about your background in English. For example, explaining where you were born and when you come to the United States. This English conversation skill will help you introduce yourself and respond to questions using correct English grammar. Okay, good. Okay, you see, this is what we were practicing right at the beginning, you know, using the questions with was and where. Okay, so tomorrow we're going to have an exercise in which you are going to, uh, you are going to talk about yourself, okay? So, for example, you can say, I was born in 1966, I was in, I was in San Salvador, and then you can say, I, I studied in a public school. I was, uh, for example, I was, um, let's say, happy to, to study in that school when I was a kid, trying to use the verb to be uh, with a background in the past tense of, uh, of verbs about yourself, okay? Like, you know, like, uh, let's say four or five sentences about you, okay? But in a chronological order, okay? So that it has some sense, right? That you can practice about yourself. If, if you can make more, no problem, right? But a uh, minimum five sentences, you know, like talking about you, right? I was born. And then uh, I will show you the video tomorrow so to give you more ideas. Okay, people. So I, it was a big pleasure to meet you, okay? I have another class, you know, with another group right now, but... Uh, so I don't know if you have any other questions or doubts or comments. Uh, if you have comments or also uh, some, uh, let's say, uh, suggestions, okay, we can use the WhatsApp group or you can tell me during the class, okay? So I am open to those uh, suggestions, don't worry about it, okay? Okay. Okay. okay? okay, thank you. So it was a very nice pleasure. I didn't feel the hour, I didn't feel okay. the time. Okay, so stay safe, you. okay? See you tomorrow, okay? Have a good night. Tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow, bye. tomorrow teacher. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.